Hi and welcome back. I'm Mark Richard Adams, post-production professional. What are we going to look at today? Well, we're going to look at dynamics and how to um, use them. Now, what is a dynamic? Well, a dynamic is a almost like a transition of colour or a grade from one position to another on the same clip. Or you could use it to change maybe like an iris issue um, or a, you know, a very quick flicker of light um, uh, in, in a shot itself. So we're going to do an example of a day to night dynamic on this shot. Okay. So the first thing we do, we've got a shot um, here. Um, we're just going to jump down to keyframes here. There's the keyframe. And you'll see that this section will exist. Um, there's an expanding area here. Click on the expansion. You can see the whole thing. Now, what have we got here? We've got corrector, we've got sizing, um, and we've got the section all over here. Now, this is my first node, but I wanna put the dynamic on the second node. So I'm just gonna option S, second node. And you can see as I've added, corrector two will appear. So corrector one is this, and corrector two is that. A thing to be aware of here, what we need to do is in this drop down menu all, we need to change all to color. Okay, and then this, almost keyframe track will appear. So you'll see when I select um, corrector one or node one, the track will be on corrector one. When I select node two, the track will jump to corrector two. So we know which corrector we're going to apply a uh, keyframe or a dynamic to. So first things first, round about here, what I wanna do, I want the color change to start about here. Well, what I'm gonna do is right click on the section and go add dynamic keyframe. And there's a keyframe appeared. I'm now going to go a few seconds down and in the track again, right click and add dynamic keyframe. And can you see what's happening? We've got two keyframes um, and we've got this little triangle section, section going out and triangle section coming in. That's indicating a transition from one to the other. Now, if we want a transition to, to go from here to there, we need to make sure that we're on this keyframe or after this keyframe and apply the color transition there. So what I'm going to do very quickly is just jump over to the gain and pull the gain down. And I'm going to pull the gamma down as well. Okay, that's looking quite nice. Um, pull the saturation through. In the gamma, I'm just going to pull into the blues, make a sort of like a little night image, night section there, um, and push some blues into the, the lift area as well. So it's looking pretty good. Maybe we can go lower on the gain actually. Okay, that's good. So that's my night image. Okay, very quick, very simple to do. Now let's go back on the shot, I hit play. And you can see, we hit the first keyframe and the transition starts to happen. So and there's your dynamic. We have gone from one color selection here to another. What's really cool about this is we can actually pick up these keyframes and move them closer. And when you move something closer, the transition will happen quicker. And we can make it super quick as well, like this. Or we can make it really quite long, very dramatic lighting change. If you don't like any of that, you can actually click onto the keyframe itself, right click and go to delete selected keyframe. And here are two. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Dynamics can be really quite fun. Uh, have a play with it, have an experiment. Great, if you like this video, please hit subscribe and um, hope to see you next time. Thank you very much.